with the current roster construction for the Arizona Cardinals, Buda Baker can finally play his own game. You are Locked On Cardinals, your daily Arizona Cardinals podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Alex Clancy here. Follow me on Twitter at Clancy's Corner underscore. Follow the podcast at Locked On AZ Cards. Thank you for making Locked On Cardinals your first listen. Free wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account. Use code Locked On NFL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Turns do apply. We're back to the X Factor series. We've moved to the defense, the veterans today. The rookies tomorrow. First veteran X factor for the Arizona Cardinals in 2024 is Buda Baker. And it's not for the traditional definitions. If you listen to the uh, the uh, offense uh, segments the last Thursday and Friday of last week, every d- X factor has a little different definition as to why they are. Buda Baker's isn't necessarily contractual. So I kind of want to get that out of the way now. Uh, my first seg or my second segment yesterday discussed Buda Baker and his thoughts about just playing for 2024 and not necessarily worrying about a contract yet. Buda Baker can finally play his role in 2024. He can play his game. All of the position groups that are not named safety have elevated in town, whether it be through second year guys who were rookies last year, rookies this year, or veteran. Uh, role players, Sean Murphy Bunting, Bilal Nichols, Justin Jones, uh, uh, Mac Wilson. You know, there are guys that have come in who've played meaningful snaps, many of them elsewhere, and are here to be compliments to the young players that have been drafted last year and this year. BJ Oshilari, Garrett Williams, uh, Max Melton, Elijah Jones. You know, guys who, for a large portion of Buda Baker's career, played positions that Buda Baker had to overcompensate for because the talent wasn't there. The Cardinals haven't had a bona fide cornerback one since Patrick Peterson in 2016. Truly. They haven't had a bona fide cornerback one. That's a long time. That's eight years. And who's had to overcompensate? Buda Baker since being drafted at the top of the second round in 2017. He's had to. Jalen Thompson's come in. Supplemental draft, Washington State. He's had to. The Cardinals haven't had the talent necessary ahead of Buda Baker to allow Buda Baker to be Buda Baker. So while the pass rush isn't going to be excellent, it's not going to be world beating, at least on paper from what we've seen in years past from players who are currently on the roster. And then you add Darius Robinson to that. Xavier Thomas out of Clemson. We'll see what he can do late round pick. And it was only a late round pick because of injuries in college, but on paper, the Cardinals have the best eight, like uh, they have the most talent of the eight positions ahead of Buda Baker and Jalen Thompson playing over the top. So this does tie into Buda Baker staying in Arizona Cardinal beyond this year because he doesn't have to be a hundred percent Buda Baker anymore. He hasn't been for the last two, you know, he's been about 80% of what we've grown to know and love from him. He's still the great leader on the field. So great leader in the locker room. He's 80% of what he was, which is great at 29. But he doesn't have to play all of the positions. He doesn't have to overcompensate for a lack of pass rush, for a lack of coverage, where his, you know, open field tackling, his missile style of tackling, whether it be blitzing the quarterback or stopping guys from getting to the third level, whether it be, you know, catching a short pass or a running back, he can just play free safety. He can play his role. He can play the position that got him to be drafted atop the second round. So when you look at Buda Baker for 2024, what does X factor mean? It means we're going to see what Buda Baker is going to look like, not for this year, but for the next couple of years. His role with this team. I think that he and Monty Osford to say, you know what? Let's figure it out at the end of this season. Let's figure it out. And I think it's so important and so mature and so trusting of both sides to say, you know what? 
there are bigger things at play right now. We took care of you at the beginning of last season, gave you fully guaranteed money 2023, gave you some boosters for 2024. I think that was all part of the plan. Listen, and then in 2025, once all of that money comes in, they're going to have over $90 million to spend in 2025. We'll talk about it. Monty Osfort knows how important Buda Baker is to this organization. Jonathan Gannon, Nick Rallis know how, know how important Buda Baker is to this organization. And 2024 is going to be a perfect case study in what the next three years of Buda Baker with the Cardinals could look like. Just by him playing his position. And the best part, the best part about this is, even if he plays 60 or 70% of what he was, he's got a bunch of young, incredibly talented guys to compliment him in the team defense the Cardinals are going to play. He's not relied upon to be all pro anymore. It'd be nice if he plays at a Pro Bowl level, not an alternate level, like a Pro Bowl level. Imagine this defense with a cornerback room that's worthy, that's above average. And there's still a lot of question marks, sure. But question marks meaning, what is this going to look like? Not question marks like, oh, that's probably going to be a liability. What, the, what are the Cardinals going to do to compensate for that? It's very different. So Buda Baker's X-factor-ness, not my best, in 2024 is, what is the floor for him going to be? What percentage of the all-pro Buda Baker will be there this year? That's going to be the determining factor. Because, listen, hopefully he stays healthy, plays 17 games. May not have to play as many snaps after they drafted Rabbit out of Texas Tech. Jalen Thompson still an absolute enforcer. He's 25. So Buda Baker, like Kyler Murray, have this cocoon around them this circle of trust around them that can help them instead of making them carry the load more than they you know than 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 that is ideal so Buda Baker is the biggest x factor on defense for the Cardinals in 2024 but it's not like if he doesn't play well and if it's obvious he's past his prime which he's not It's not that. It's what will this defense look like when he doesn't have to overcompensate nearly as much for lack of talent elsewhere. Pass rush isn't going to be great. The corner is probably going to – it's going to be a learning curve, but it's going to be better. And every great team that has young talent has that one guy. It could be pass rusher. could be linebacker. could be safety who's still the metronome for the defense. And it's Buda Baker. It'll be fascinating to see what happens in 2024. X-Factor number two, for wildly different reasons. Zayvon Collins. Very interesting. We'll discuss that next. Locked on Cardinals, your team, every day. This episode of Locked on Cardinals is brought to you by Better Help. You know, there are some things that people go through. You know, it's, you need to have the opportunity to let stuff off your chest. Big or small, certain things can really start to get to you. And it's important to let that out, especially to someone who's unbiased in your life. So I want to say how I really feel about something. And you might even be thinking about the same thing this week. I wish the national media gave the Cardinals more credit. More credit in the sense that things are being done the right way for the first time in a long time. Things like this could be one of the most exciting teams in football if the pieces work. But they still continue just to get overlooked. National media is indifferent to the Arizona Cardinals more times than not. It's getting frustrating. They're just going to have to prove it on the field in 2024. Therapy can be different for everyone, and most of us have bigger problems than our favorite sports team, and it's important to get things off your chest once in a while. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, and listen, and cater to, to what you need. Go to betterhelp.com and use code 
betterhelp.com slash locked on to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash locked on. This episode of Locked On Cardinals is also brought to you by the Bird Gang Travel Club. Man, Marv catching TDs from K1 in South Beach, you could be there. JC making house calls at Lambeau, you could be there. All day Trey making big play after big play week one in Buffalo in front of the Bills Mafia, you could be there with Bird Gang Travel Club. Bird Gang Travel Club provides the best and only fan travel experience for Cardinals road games. We're talking anywhere from 50 to 500 fans on a given trip, man. This season, they're hitting Buffalo week one, Green Bay week six, and Miami week eight. I mean, incredible game choices. Buffalo before it's negative 30, Green Bay when it's beautiful in week six, and South Beach is South Beach. Packages include top-notch hotel stays for three or four nights, lower-level game tickets currently row five or closer in Buffalo, parties each night with open bar and appetizers, unique fan tours of Lambeau Field and the Niagara Falls, souvenir trip patch, State 48 trip shirt, and more. Visit birdgang.com to see all the packages today. Sign up by June 23rd and receive a signed Paris Johnson Jr. mini helmet for anyone in your package. Use the code Locked On to receive a bonus signed mystery mini helmet or football from a current Cardinals player or alumni while supplies last. Check them out. Bird Gang Travel Club, best in the business. Alex Hansi, Locked On Cardinals. Hi. Please go to the YouTube channel, search Locked On Arizona Cardinals, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, man. We're doing our X Factor series, my X Factor series, the Royal Hour, I guess. Um, did offense last week, doing veteran defensive players today and defensive rookies tomorrow, which is going to be another, or uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow, which is going to be fascinating. So, Buda Baker, biggest X Factor for the Cardinals on defense, just it's, it's much more existential. It's not like, oh, can he play well enough to get another contract? Does he not play well and they let him go? It's not that directly. It's what is he going to look like with a bunch of young, incredibly talented players who he can mentor, coach on the field, and also be able to not have to overcompensate for lack of talent in specific position groups, namely the cornerback. It'll be fascinating. X factor number two is Zayvon Collins. Zayvon Collins. Um for very different reasons, is a massive X factor. Declined fifth-year option, drafted out of Tulsa, was played in a position that he that wasn't natural to him, moved, moved outside to play outside linebacker last year off the edge, and well, didn't do a whole lot, had a couple turnovers in one game early, early in the season. But he hasn't been a difference maker since being drafted. Now, this is year two of playing in that role with Nick Rowles and Jonathan Gannon, now being able to play the defense without thinking and just, you know, being able just to, you know, just play football and not have to worry about a new position, learning it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The X factor, Zayvon Collins is an X factor because if he pops this year, it will be one of the greatest gifts for the Arizona Cardinals that we've seen in quite some time. If he can be an effective pass rusher or an effective outside linebacker in general, whether it be in coverage or otherwise, the Cardinals can check that box off for having to draft towards the top of the 2025 draft. One thing that I discussed a lot throughout 2023 was the Cardinals need to find their stars. They need to find the guys who have the runway to be elite. And what that'll do is allow Monty Austin for it to not have to draft that position high up in the 2024 draft. Now, like, we don't know how many draft picks they were going to have. Marvin Harris Jr. dropping at four. Like, so many things. But it was like, can B.J. Ojolari show flashes? Can Garrett Williams show flashes? Can Paris Johnson Jr. solidify himself as a tackle for the future for the Cardinals? They do. They, they show uh, uh, Michael Wilson. Can they show those oh-my-God moments, even if they're fleeting, even if – they're a small sample size to not have to go out and add talent to those rooms or a lot of talent to those rooms because these guys are showing flashes for what could be stardom in the future. And they did that. Garrett Williams showed flash, didn't play, you know, he played half the season or so. Perry Johnson Jr. played every snap. DJ Ojolari came out of the gates slow because he was coming off injury and then really came into his own towards the end of the season. And Michael Wilson was injured, you know, for a chunk of the season. But when given the opportunity 
later in the season with Kyler Murray, you saw like, oh, yep, that can work. Saw it in the preseason with his ability to contort his body on the sideline and still come down with the ball and put two feet in. Two feet. That's interesting. Two feet down. Um, we saw it. Now, for Zayvon Collins, if Zayvon Collins can produce at a B-minus level or B level for the Cardinals, that elevates this defense so much. It elevates it so much because not even, you know, off the edge. He's a big guy. He's 6'3", 255. And if Nick Rallis can find the position that he's most comfortable in to produce, and if Darius Robinson and Bijou Ojolari can continue moving this pass rush forward, and if Bilal Nichols and Justin Jones can crash the pocket from the A-gaps, it'll allow Kazir White and Mac Wilson. I would think Mac Wilson is going to play off ball with Kazir White. We'll see if they're going to put him off the edge or not. This defense could really start to hum. And then you've got the opportunistic corners in Max Melton, Garrett Williams, and Elijah Jones, guys who all like to hit people. They're ball hawks. They're great open field tacklers. They're great against the run. Like those front guys, those front eight or nine, and then you see Jalen Thompson, Buda Baker over the top, you'll be cooking with gas. If Zayvon Collins can truly solidify himself, even as a role player starter, not like a Dennis Gardeck who's situational – uh, special teams savant, like if he can s- solidify himself as a guy who can be relied upon to not to not crater a defense, that's a win. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. You hope upon all hope that this is a true Hassan Reddick cautionary tale, but flipped to the positive direction for the card. My dad says, do good things and good things will happen. Do things the right way and things tend to bounce your way. I'm not saying all the time. I'm not saying this is karmic energy. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not. I'm not. And the Cardinals have put themselves in a situation. Free agency draft last year, last season, how they played last season. Free agency draft this offseason and how they're approaching the 2024 season, the league year, it makes it easier for players to be able to produce when you have a situation like the Cardinals have. It's not always. But this is the best situation going into a year that Zayvon Collins has experienced in the NFL. If he doesn't produce... This is not one where it's like, oh, if Zayvon Collins can't find the field, you just move off from him. Like, he's not a make-or-break guy. He can elevate this defense. It's kind of a a win-win for the Cardinals, really. Um, Either they find a diamond in the rough who's been here all the time but just been, you know, misused, talent hasn't been around him, coaching wasn't there, or didn't work, high five, see you later, Steve Kime, another draft pick removed. We're going to find out this year one way or the other. And there is great power in that. Alex Lancey locked on Cardinals because you're white. X Factor, number three. Woo! I'm excited to talk about it next. Locked on Cardinals. Your team every day. This episode of Locked on Cardinals is brought to you by the Game Time app. Game Time makes getting NBA Finals tickets even faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to tip off. Game one tonight. Come on. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, view from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets. You're not an NBA fan, necessarily? They've got everything else. Baseball. Football coming up. You want to come to a home game for the Cardinals? Boom. If you like comedy shows, there's always comedy shows in Phoenix. Always, always, always. They're everywhere. You can go to comedy shows, check it out on Game Time. They got you covered. And again, seat views. You can get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy. Take the guesswork out of buying NBA Finals tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account. Use code Locked on NFL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code L O C K E D O N NFL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price. Guaranteed. It's the X Factor series. 
Veteran guys on the defensive side of the ball featured today, Buda Baker, can finally play his own role. Can finally do it. Zayvon Collins, we'll find out. We'll find out this year. It's only a benefit for the Cardinals one way or the other. And then finally, Kazir White. So Kazir White is the guy that I'm most excited to watch. Sure, Darius Robinson will be fun. The corners will be fun. Absolutely. Buda Baker, Jalen Thompson. You know, it, it, it'll be fun. Okay, all of it. And Kazir White, to me, is the heartbeat of this defense. Okay, and it happened almost immediately. And I'm not talking about when he almost took Sam Howell's head off in week one, getting a 15-yard penalty. That was like the spark of a couple. Jalen Thompson got one. Uh, Paris Johnson Jr. got one for, I believe, pulling uh, an offensive lineman off a pile, which is different, but still personal fouls. I think that Jonathan Gannon just had these guys too, too juiced, too juiced uh, for the first part of this last season. Because your white hits really hard. He's good in coverage. He's got great closing speed. And he knows this defense better than anybody because he's been part of this defense longer than anybody. When he, came, when he was a linebacker in Philly, linebackers coach Nick Rallis and defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon. So when you look at, when you look at, what Kazir White could be. You got to look at it the same way as Haven Collins and Buda Baker. Having Justin Jones and Bilal Nichols in the middle, whether they're rotational, depending on, you know, the scheme that, that Jonathan Gannon and Nick uh, cook up uh, on any sort of series. You got Darius Robinson, BJ Ojolari, Haven Collins, you know, Mac Wilson, who's also a – a hitter, he's, he could be a rotational piece. We'll see what he's going to be like in this in this defense. And you've got corners who can actually cover, like, because your way can run free in the middle of this defense and wreak absolute havoc. With Bilal Nichols and Justin Jones specifically, if they can open up some holes in the middle of the defense, and you're running blitz packages, because your white is just, he hits so hard. He hits so hard, and he's not afraid of contact. He's not afraid to try and take somebody's head off legally. He's a guy that could be a catalyst for this defense being more opportunistic. What do I mean? Being like a Mike, a Micah Parsons-ish, I'm not comparing the two. They don't play the exact same position. Micah Parsons doesn't have a position. He just does what he wants. Because your white hits like Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons is lightning fast. He was a 4-3. I mean, Micah Parsons is out of this world. He'll probably be Defensive Player of the Year next year. But playing that Micah Parsons role-ish where it's – you don't have to – sacks are very overrated. Pressures are the most important. Pressures are what force turnovers, aside from you know strip sacks from actual sacks. But because your white can get in the backfield with the help of Bilal Nichols, Justin Jones, Dante Stills, you know, if, if Darius Robinson plays a little bit inside, which I'm assuming he will, assuming they're going to move him all across the defensive line because of his ability to do it when he did it in, in Missouri for three years. And B.J. Ojolari, like, I just want to see Kazir White for 17 weeks with a defense that has a talent level that this one does. And it, it's not just for this year. They signed a very team-friendly deal with Kazir White when he came over, Okay. So you'd hope that he produces this year. He'll get an extension after after this season where there's so much money to be had, you know, for not only players that are currently on the team, but for free agents next season. Because you're white in the middle of the defense. I think he wears number seven. He's the guy that I'm looking forward to most on the defensive side of the ball. Cornels will be fun. Darius Robinson will be fun. BJ Ojolari will be fun. But the heart of the defense the guy wearing the green dot on game day, because you're white. He is the – so when I say Buda Baker is the biggest X factor, and I said that in the first segment, I, and, I, and I, I agree with myself from 15 minutes ago. The biggest X factor, but not directly correlative to wins and losses. It's bigger for him. Like, it's, it's a more general thing for Buda Baker. For Kazir White, he may be the biggest X factor as pertaining to wins and losses for the Arizona Cardinals. They've got young players in the cornerback room. They've got young pass rushers. He's going to have to overcompensate for some of that. And he can. He saw it last year. If he can stay healthy, 
And he can elevate his game from last year, which will be easier with better players around him. This defense can be absolutely scary. That's an ideal in a vacuum scenario. Not everything is going to work, just not how the world works. But Kazir White could very well be the most important defensive player the Arizona Cardinals have on that side of the ball next season as directly pertaining to wins and losses. If he plays at a, at a, at a Pro Bowl level, that could add an extra win across the 17-game slate. If he underwhelms, the middle of the defense is going to be a very, very weak spot. And that's something the Cardinals can't have if they want to continue moving in a positive direction. Remember, without you, there is no me. I'll talk to you tomorrow.